All right, another video on my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching them. Uh, it's nice to know when you have feedback, people you know get a hold of me and they say, "Hey, uh, this is cool," or "What's that?" or uh, "Can you help me with this?" And most of the time, you guys help me more than I help you. Uh, I enjoy talking uh, to video. Uh, I talk like it's just one on one. Uh, I know that. YouTube's capable of probably having a couple people watching videos, but I just it, I just always kind of think we're just kind of one on one. We're just having fun here, hanging out. As my cam makes me look like I'm dark tomato paste barbecue. This cut. <laughs> see what it does? Like, see what it's dark my hat. Um, maybe if I just go. Like, how about this? How about if I do my backwards hat? All right, not so tomato pasty. Uh, it was a beautiful day in Utah. Uh, it's Father's Day today, uh, 2023, and it's bitter sweet for me. It, it's it's such a massive understatement. Uh, it, it's kind of sweet because you know being a father is, is important. It's scary. It's crazy. It's hard. There's really no manual. You just kind of watch TV shows and think, okay, is this how I'm a father? Or, <laughs> or a lot of times you kind of think, well, my father was this way and his father was that way, grandpa. So I'm going to be just like him. And that could be very good or very bad. <laughs> in my case, you know, I had a pretty cool upbringing. I mean, strict in ways and cool in the other. Uh, you know, I, I always had a vehicle when I was 16 years old. I played sports. Uh, my parents, mom and dad supported me and I had baseball mitts and football helmets. And what I mean by vehicles is I saved up enough money and and uh, sometimes I got help with some bills, repairs. I remember a transmission went out and my dad uh, gave me uh, enough money to repair the darn transmission. Uh, but yeah, a, a, a good childhood. I can't complain. I Santa Barbara, California is a beautiful city. That's where I grew up. I live in Salt Lake City now and I love it here. I can't afford to live in Santa Barbara unless you guys all want to join my live good team. And if I can make like maybe 15 to 20 grand a month, I might be able to live in my hometown again. But uh, I lived in Santa Barbara, born in the 60s, 70s. And by the 80s, I, I lived up here in Utah where I'm at now. Went down to Vegas and then uh, come back here. And, and I really do have a, a great life here. Uh, I can't complain. I've, I've had the freedom to make money, to earn money to have jobs that I was interested in and, and try to bust ass and teach myself uh, how to get in certain businesses that I really wanted to be in. Certain businesses I probably shouldn't have tried, like the mortgage business, uh, the car business I enjoyed, my nightclub days, uh, you know, owning nightclubs, not working at them. Uh, I don't know if I regret that or not. You know, there, there's a lot of a lot of headache, a lot of bullshit, man. And that is just a massive understatement. My radio career on and off, 35 years, I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy talking, communicating. I've always talked a lot. It's probably from being insecure or showing off to get attention. Uh, but once girls started laughing at me, oh gosh, those poor teachers, my poor parents, my poor friends that still have to put up with me. I was with pretty girls today. And of course, I'm acting like a butthole trying to get attention. And they gave me some. And I'll show you. I the the reason I'm doing this video and I'm stalling. I gotta be. I I'm so stalling right now. And I I'm gonna go through with this because I was gonna just, you know, I thought the first couple of minutes if I just kind of bullshit a little bit, I can I can just brush over uh, what I was gonna talk about and then make a different title for this. You know, maybe thankful. Be thankful, and then I'd kind of tell you my life story why I'm thankful. Uh, but it all comes down to Father's Day. And it's still Father's Day. It's late afternoon right now, going into evening as I produce this. Uh, we had a beautiful uh, car show today. Uh, I had some of my most closest friends show up. And it's just so cool. I was with my closest friends yesterday. Kind of did a pre-Father's Day thing. And today was just awesome. I mean, I, I had Blaine and Jill, who I work with in the car show uh, thing. You know, they're kind enough to let me kind of tag along and be a maniac and and uh and do a lot of fun stuff uh with them uh, rock and hot rod productions man we do a lot of a lot of travel a lot of rock and roll and a lot of car showing man and it's awesome I, I love every minute of it and i had a good friend michael mann he's he's managed three or four of my night clubs awesome i can give him 50 grand and in 10 years i'll have 50 grand and one penny uh, i love that guy 
one of his closest friends, Tisa, a uh, pretty girl. She's so awesome. I've known her for 30-something years. And she sells cookies at the event. And um, I'm still selling, aren't I? And uh, Donnie, uh, Zach's Garage, who's been my mechanic off and on for 30 years, he showed up. And uh, Carrie and her family, they've got these massive Unimogs, which I'm going to show you. But getting down to Father's Day, I might as well... Uh, just kind of get into why I'm so lucky uh, to have the friends that I have. Uh, because today I normally really clam up and I do not leave the house. I don't do it on Christmas and I don't do it on Father's Day. And it's probably out of guilt. It's probably out of embarrassment. And it's it's a whole hell of a lot of of just being, I, it's, it, it, I guess it's depressed, but man, it's it's being ashamed and and pissed off and kind of asking yourself what the hell are we doing on this planet and the reason why is because my son passed away um in 2018 unfortunately right around new year's eve going into christmas day and you guys are going to say why and, and i don't mind talking about it i really don't it took me a little while to come out and say you know what if people can learn off my son's death that's about the best case scenario. I, I needed to find the best case for my son, KC, to talk about it. I don't know if it's healing. I don't know if you can get over it. Uh, I look at it as a filing cabinet and you open up this this door and it's like, oh man, there's guilt and pain and oh shit. And you kind of deal with it a little bit. You get You come to terms and then you just shut the door a little bit. Doesn't go away. You know that filing cabinet on the top shelf is always going to be there. Uh, cope, I think that's probably a pretty good definition. You, you learn to cope with the pain and the guilt and the, oh, I wish I would have done this or, oh, God, I, you know, you guys have probably had pain in your life from an animal to just a, a dog, a cat, a horse. That is brutal. And then if you have someone like a, a grandpa or a parent and you're like, holy crap. And then you go your whole life and when you're a parent, you think, well, I'm going to outlive my kids. You don't even think about it. I, I honestly, it's not that you live your life timeless when you're young. And if you're younger right now watching my video, and I mean anywhere, let's just say 17 to 18, you're looking for an online business like LiveGood, or maybe you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s is even young. I'm way over 50. And it just, you're like, God, it's timeless. You go, yeah, I mean, you know you're going to die. But you think, oh, yeah, but that's so far away. And my God, I've got chores and I got bills to pay. And oh, I promised the kids to take them fishing. And oh, I got a car show. And oh, crap, I got a cracked windshield. I got to fix it. So you live yourself uh, or you live your life kind of like 24 hours. And then itself kind of takes care of, you know, life kind of runs you. You try to run life and, and you can. And, and a lot of people do. But sometimes life gets in the way of goals or deep thought or living a humble experience or being thankful. Uh, with my career, I wanted to be, I guess, an entertainer, be in the entertainment business. It's not that I wanted to be an actor, although I have been in some movies and did some funny stuff. I'll have to get my clips out one uh, uh, video here. But I just like to make people laugh and be the butt of the jokes, be the, the butthead that always gets in trouble. And my son was similar. All right. Good kid. He loved country music. I went more rock and roll, but he loved kid rock too. And my son, when he died, I, I, I had him cremated and he's with me. He's in the other room right now. I'll show you one video. I'll, I'll get this webcam or I'll just go on my cell phone. And, and, and it's, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with him go, being gone for five years now. All right. This Christmas coming up in six months will be Christmas number six. And it's not that it gets any easier. It's just that you you really question yourself and why you're here. And do you really want to make a difference? Sure, you want to make money. And that's why you look at Live Good. Sure, you probably want to take better care of yourself. And you got to look at yourself and just going, okay, well, drinking, smoking, am I eating bad? Um, sometimes you just don't give a crap. You're like, you know, who cares? <laughs> you know, I'll be all right. I'll live another day. And I get it. I, I'm like, hey, to each his own. Uh, I hope someone gets out of a, a deep place if they're in that place that is so deep. Or if you're in a dark place, hopefully it gets to a lighter place. 
And if you do something that's bad for you, I get it. Uh, my son did something really bad for him that night. Uh, I won't get into a massive amount of details, but the 50,000 foot story, yeah, and it's just that, yo, know, he, he ended up taking drugs and he shouldn't have been and it backfired and where he was dropped off, he had basically somewhat of a seizure and it's not that he died of a drug overdose, but because he tried to, I guess maybe it's not that he wanted, you know, sometimes you're an alpha male and that's kind of where you walk in the room and you want to run the place that's kind of me <laughs> and that's good and bad but with my son he was kind of a go with the flow guy hey man you want a cheeseburger all right you want to drink a beer okay all right hey you want to try some drugs yo it's christmas eve okay and it backfired it bat it bat backfired really bad and it, it it's 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 the end all be all it's where chapter 33 finished and my son was 33. He was right around 33 years old and his book was done. Um, I've got 20-something years on, you know, a, more, a little more chapters than that, of course. And I don't know when I'm my chapter is going to be done and it's going to be finished and the book's closed and maybe you put it on a shelf with my Legos or my Hot Wheels. But with my son, he's in the other room. And I got him, I call him the Kid Rock Jar. Looks like a cookie jar. It's an American flag. He liked Kid Rock. Kid Rock always promotes the flag and having fun and rock. He liked Johnny Cash, so I bought a Johnny Cash doll. Uh, he was babysat with, by the lead singer of Megadeth. And I went ahead and bought a Megadeth doll. And it's off an album. And the reason why is Dave Mustaine, the lead singer, he babysat my son for like 20 minutes while I was setting up an interview in my rock station. You know, I was interviewing the band Megadeth back in 90-something. And he's like, nope, don't worry, Corey, I have kids. So he babysat my kids. So I thought, well, that's fun. I just want to surround my son uh, with some friends. The last concert we went to was Billy Idol, so I bought a Billy Idol doll. And I've got all those dolls hanging out right around my son's urn. And it has some humor to it, a little bit of, you know, okay, you got to breathe. If you can have a sense of humor around death, that's all I can really um, recommend, is you just got to sit back and go, if this person was floating as a spirit or could come back for a minute, and if they just said, you know what, I might have messed up, or I died because of old age, or cancer, or maybe I drank and fell asleep, or, I mean, there's a million things that can go wrong in life. But I just figure, my son, being a smarty pants, if uh, he was listening to me right now, he'd dump probably water on my head, and then he'd go, look, I kind of messed up. My book is 33 chapters, and yours might be 80. And have a good time. And if there's the afterlife, I'll see him again. And if I don't, I'm cool with that too. I'm not religious. Uh, I hope there's something. Is that spiritual? Uh, you know, the book of the Bible, it's kind of crazy. There's a lot of wild stories in there. Uh, half might true. The other half might be kind of, wow, that's a doozy. But whatever it is, it is. I'm cool with it. All right. It's Sunday. I was with motorcycles and pretty girls and cars and just having the time of my life at a car show on a Sunday. And if that's a sin, I'll I'll uh, I'll own it. I'll be the first one to go. I had a good time today. It was Mother uh, Father's Day, and it was Sunday. But uh, I'm just I'm easy going. If there is uh, the afterlife and a religious thing, hey man, right on. Uh, what can I do to help that experience, uh, you know, be better? And if there's nothing, I'm cool with that too. Because um, every day now, I absolutely live uh, very humble. Um. I'm very thankful every day I get up, and when there's drama, man, I get over that shit so fast. I, I'm Teflon, baby. Man, uh, even when my windshield cracked yesterday, I was pissed off. I had a big old thing, just 80 mile an hour, smash my windshield, and I'm like, mother mia. And I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll, you know, it ain't all that bad. Get over yourself. So, But, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I would have been bitching about it for two weeks. If I was in Live Good, I'd be, like, still bitching about my windshield, promoting Super Reds. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, uh, today was Father's Day, and it's about the first time that I've actually went out, and I had a lot of people wish me happy Father's Day, and they know about my son. And we just kind of smiled, and I took the high road and just kind of said thank you, and then we filmed and, and laughed about some things. And everybody on Facebook was real kind. They, they write me uh, nice messages. And I read every single one of them. And I appreciate all they do for me. That's for sure. 
but it, I don't know. I, I guess I feel proud of myself after five years. I think my son would be proud going, get your ass out and live your life. Live good. Live great. Make a difference. And I shit you not, three months ago, when I was buying my super reds and my super greens, when I looked at the affiliate, I'm like, you know, MLM is amazing if it can work. We all know that. That's why we've probably all tried MLM the last 35, 40 years. Our grandparents, 50 to 75 years ago, going back to the beginning of Avon and the beginning of Amway, which is way back then. And we thought, you know, everybody kind of probably gave it hell and didn't didn't work out. You know, 99% of people have to kind of give up on the MLM dream just because the money's not there. It's real simple. There's a lot of uh, algorithm, algorithms and matrices. Man, there's just a lot of cool things out there, isn't there? That sounds good. Get two, and they get two, and so on. Even our 2 by 15 matrix is amazing. But three months ago, um, right around March, what is it, April, May, June. All right, so I've been doing this for about three months. Um, I looked at it, and I thought, do I have the time to do it? Because I can afford it. I got 40 bucks to be an affiliate. I've got 9 bucks a month or 100 bucks for the year. So I paid it, and I didn't do nothing for about a week. And I studied Live Good. And I studied it again. And I studied it again. And then I got jealous of our CEO and Nodder, because those two guys, they kind of retired from the traditional MLM, where the products are retail, and you sell them to your own downline, your own affiliates, and then they pretend to sell it. And that's kind of how the infrastructure is. Avon knows it. Amway knows it. Uh, Mary Kay knows it. Tupperware knows it. Man, there's a lot of uh, places kicking ass, and no disrespect to them. They do billions, and I don't. So I have no room to talk. But I can talk because I'm a busy guy. I'm out in the sun a lot. It looks like I'm wearing barbecue sauce thanks to my lighting here. Um, but when I when I looked at Live Good, and I sat down for a week, and I thought, you know what? I think I can help people duplicate. Duplicate is the end-all, be-all to MLM. You guys got to realize this is a perfect scenario, okay? I join. I give it a day or so, and I find two people that can join for a year. And they have 40 bucks to be an affiliate. And they have like a wife and maybe a kid or a relative that'll do it. That relative might be married to your aunt, and they go ahead and sign up, and their next-door neighbor signs up. So each person that signs up gets two people. Because then you're a bronze and a lot of magic happens. And you can look in the pay plan. We'll talk about that in another video. And two by two by two by two. And uh, with our company being a two by 15 matrix, I thought, well, that's simple. I sign up two people. They sign up two people. I got four in my downline. Those four get two. There's eight. Those eight people get two. There's 16. Uh, it pays down 12. 12 levels if you don't do jack squat. And after a year or two of and of just keeping your 995 active, you're probably going to get up to about 2000 bucks a month in quarters, okay? Because you get 25 cents of that 10 bucks a month of the membership. And if you're a bronze, you get not only one leg down, you get two. So just imagine instead of one ski slope, there's two. And down that slope is quarters. And every month, a lot of quarters come down. And that's on every person underneath you. And it goes to 13 levels down when you're a bronze. And if you get down to 13 levels and your matrix fall, uh, fills in, you're not making two grand a month. You're now making four. I'm like, there's got to be a catch. There's no way in hell quarters can add up to that. So what did I do? I got this matrix out and I just got a calculator out and I said, gosh, by the time there's a ninth, 10th, 11th, you got two to 4,000 people. Okay. The profit is plenty for live good to pay out. The shipping is taken care of. And I just, I kept looking at this going, dang it, I'm actually jealous of Ben and Nodder because this is ingenious. It gets some asshole know-it-all like myself to come out of somewhat workaholic uh, environment. Uh, not that I was depressed, but maybe moping a little bit going, God, is there more to life other than just working and maybe doing some things with vehicles and having maybe some laughs, laughs with friends. And that is important. Not taken away from that. I love it. But after a week, I thought, well, if I do this business and maybe some friends and family come aboard, but wonder if people from South, Cor Carol uh, South Korea come in, in the Gold Coast, West Africa, South Africa, East Africa. God, I got all those people on my downline. I've got New, D uh, New, uh, New uh, Zealand. 
New Guinea. Uh, holy moly, I got Switzerland the other day. I got three Americans in a row. I got one yesterday, the day before, and the day before. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the attack of the Americans. Because most of my downline are all uh, out of the country. And, and, and that's awesome. I got a good mix. I mean, if I counted everybody in all the groups I overlook, uh, I got a nice mix. But after a week, I thought, I think I can maybe make a difference by doing this. It's satisfying for me to do video. I like to kind of talk and maybe do some fun things. Maybe I can make you laugh now and then, but I, I enjoy video. It's, it's absolute therapy for me. And like I said, I think you guys have done a hell of a lot better, more for me than I have for you over the 950. I'm going on 1,000 videos here. I'll have that done probably in a handful of days away I chat. But then I, after a week of sitting on Live Good, I made a decision. I go, this is just freaking awesome. You know, I kept going in the back office. I was seeing two to 3,000 people a day sign in. And I'm like, God, are they getting fooled? Is this just one of those things that for a year and then it it, it, it implodes? Because how in the hell are you going to make money on nine ninety five a month? It's too cheap. And most of our products are wholesale. And when they're shipping, all the shipping goes to the United States Post Office or whoever delivers those products. I still was not convinced. Got out my calculator again. Then I started watching videos. Looked at my calculator again on my cell phone, and I went, I've got to do this. This is freaking amazing. And uh, one thing led to another. You know, I went to bronze rather quick, went to silver, gold, and boy, what's the next gold? Platinum, all right? Platinum and diamond and crown diamond. Now I'm in the jewelry business, you know? And I don't regret it. So far, so good. I've got about 90 days in right now, and I feel good because I'm doing video. I feel like I'm going to make a difference. I've only done 1% of my master plan with LiveGood. I want to come up with a system that, that just absolutely gets people to join, feel good about it, and to duplicate. It might take me another month, but it's on my mind every freaking day. If you guys are watching my video now, there's not a day that goes by that I can't, that I don't think, how can I make it easier? How can I do this? How can I do that? And maybe I can't, but there's plenty of success stories out there. Hundreds of people signing up in, in just one person's downline. Uh, there's thousands of people in people's downlines, and, and awesome. That's awesome. I'm hoping to do that. If I don't, I'm happy just with my success right now. But if more people come together, I, I love it when I, they come from uh, countries, other countries, some I haven't even heard of, all right? And I think that's given me... Uh, I don't know. It gets me out of my shell. It gets me out of my, gosh, I'm working again. I'm burying myself in work. That way I don't have to think about the reality of my son being gone. I'm not married. I don't really have girlfriends. I kind of flirt around and have fun. And I got some cool things that I like to drive around and haul ass in in the canyons. But at the end of the day, you know, my <clears throat> my son, I don't know. I mean, if I see him again, that's awesome. And if I don't, I, I, I'm totally cool with that. But I, I just... I live every day because he can't. It's that simple. And I do it again tomorrow. And I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And I might eat some cheese and some carbs and uh, drink some things I shouldn't. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke. I could give a rat's ass about drugs. Even though I have long hair and tattoos, I am not a drug guy. I don't even drink beer. I could care less about cigarettes. I like rock and roll, fast cars, badass music, and just fun. That's my adrenaline. All right. And if I can somehow talk or show off or do radio shows or whatever, that's always been one of my favorite things is just to have fun and laugh. And I'm sure you guys do, too. That's why you watch movies and watch comedies and just laugh and going, oh, my God, that was a great show. But after 90 days, I still think that I can help a lot more people. Um, I've talked to well over a thousand people probably over the last month with just what is live good? How you doing? Are you a radio guy? Or didn't I see on a trucking channel? Or, you know, I get, I get questions all over the place because I've been online in different uh, fields of biz. And it's like, no, that's me. Yep, that's me. I got my Hot Wheels and my Legos in the background. I don't change the background for different businesses. I might change rooms. But after 90 days, it, it's all good. And after five years going on six this Christmas, I, I'm, I'm, I've come to terms with my son not coming back. And it sucks. It, depressing? Yeah. Does it hurt? Yeah. Uh, do you want to just like beat yourself up at least 6,000 times a day? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. 
And uh, many of you folks might be in my position where there's been a death and you do feel guilty that you get up and that person in your life, even if it's a pet giraffe, you know, uh, those poor animals and, and people that we love or friends, or maybe it's just random people that you worked with when they pass away, you're like, God, this is freaky, man. This is crazy. You can't believe it. I still can't believe like Robin Williams is gone. Prince or Michael Jackson. I'm, uh, I'm so used to celebrities that have been a part of my life the last 45, 50 years. It's, it, it's kind of crazy when someone passes away, but, uh, reality is it is what you make it. And if you want to live, kind of clammed up. I've done it. I think that you should get out of that. When it comes down to being an introvert, I get it. And if you are shy, just because you've been that way, it's okay. I've asked myself a thousand times, what kind of people can I help and live good? And I think everybody of all nationalities, income, shyness, outgoing, uh, experience, newbie, I honestly think this is an ingenious company where everyone has a level playing field. If you can just somehow post, not get bored or frustrated, hang in there, make it entertaining. If you have to, man, if you use artificial intelligence like I every I do every day, put on some damn music. Put on Weird Science or a great movie off to the side. Because all you're doing is clicking for an hour or two, getting yourself two or three hundred leads, and then after you got them, then you filter them out and see who has Gmail and who fits live good to a T before you even do one freaking email to them. And I make it fun. I do. I put on documentaries mostly. And I learn about mass murderers and wackos. <laughs> and why am I, why am I, uh, how I am? You know, that's the, that's a big question, huh? How do I do my lighting so I don't look like I have tomato face paste? Uh, one of my dear friends, Jill, I was making fun of my lighting right now and she brought me barbecue sauce. So if you guys have watched this long, um, if you guys don't mind, I'd like you just, I'd like you to see today. It was a big step for me. I didn't hide and uh, spend 24 hours by myself moping or saying what a coulda with my son who's next to me, next door to me in another room. Okay. So, all right. Well, I want to show you some of my friends because they are pretty cool. All right. All right. Well, there's my son. Casey Scott Draper, man, born about 45 minutes after the space shuttle blew up. Wild kid, funny kid, crazy kid. And uh, he had 33 years, man. And um, we have a lot of great memories. And today, here's one of my dearest friends, Michael. I'll show you him coming up, but here's his motorcycle. And we were in a a, a bar and grill that's real massive that sells drinks. And uh, they have pool table and dart. Um, it's a place called... Uh, the Midway. It was on a place called Bar Rescue a couple of years ago, and my friend Bill and his wife own it. And here's some of the cars. Here's my white truck. I collect these things. I've had about 13 of them over the last uh, 30 years. I just like to lower them and get bad gas mileage. But here's just examples. Everyone's coming in. Uh, I know it doesn't look too packed in the back, but this is where everyone's coming in the entrance. And just a nice green bike. And that's an international. And my friend, he got his arm ripped off. And he's got a carbon fiber hook arm like Captain Hook. And he's got a great attitude. He drives. He's got great kids. And, you know, he could definitely fall in a state of depression. And I'm sure he has. Because when you get your arm torn off at work, that's, that's, a, that's a big deal, folks. Sweetest guy you'd ever meet. My friend here at the Unimog, I'll show you him in a second. And his beautiful wife who I grew up with. His badass car is for sale. Cheap price, too. Um, and there's just a couple and there's the midway. And then you get down here. All these guys have been in my life, 30 to 35 years. Blaine, uh, used to own and manage a bunch of nightclubs. Uh, this beautiful girl, she's been a model and has been in my life forever. Her name is Tisa and hello, Tisa, just pretty and the sweetest girl. She makes homemade, homemade treats and sells them to all the car people. And this is my, uh, mechanic, Zach, Donnie. And the sweetest guy, the nicest guy, you couldn't ask for better people. And they're all together with me on Father's Day, which was a big deal. Here's a nice person. They're making it a rat rod where you kind of make it crazy and wild with metal and just gorgeous. Here's some more people. Just the sweetest guy. I love that guy's beard and his wife. They're the nicest people. And we laugh every time there's a car show. And there's a buddy of mine. You can see the midway. It's in selfie mode, so everything's backwards. 
And here's Blaine again, and here's the manager. I love the beards, man. Everyone's rocking those beards, huh? Good people. I just love it. Spent time with them today and had some laughs. I love Des. She's my, uh, she's my, uh, I guess my dream wife. Man, if I was only 35 years younger, oh, she's so pretty, so nice. This is the owner's brother's daughter. And this guy right here, he's got a car I'm going to show you. I made him the winner of my radio station. I own a, I own Pure Rock Radio. So if you go to purerockradio.com, you can see my station. And if you like Van Halen, Motley Crue, and ACDC. But I love Des. She's so, so cute. Oh, she's got the best smile. And here's my buddy's car. I made this the car that I want next. Because I grew up in Santa Barbara by the beach. On the beach. And I'd see these little Pintos with the station wagon. And I'd see surfboards in here. People in the back kind of sleeping. I love the little window. These are stock. They came this way. They're just basically Ford Pinto wagons. And in Australia, they got special names. I can't remember what they're called, but they're just so fun. I love the car. He's got a big engine in it. It hauls ass. And if he ever wants to sell it, I got to buy this. I just, I want to put a surfboard in and relive my 70s and 80s. So anyway... I love these cars. Uh, we get down to Carrie, this pretty girl, good buddy of mine, and look at what her husband built. He built a Unimog and made it a four-door crew cab. Um, there's well over 250,000 into this. These things only go about 25 to 30 some odd miles an hour. This one goes 75 miles an hour. And he's got a custom trailer. Uh, he's fortunate. He works hard. He's got a Lamborghini Countach and he's got a Lamborghini M1. Uh, which is one of those military vehicles about 20 years ago. And he works hard, man. And I, I'm proud of this guy. And I'm going to do a video with him in a, in a week or two where he's going to get his Unimog and trailer and put one of his Lamborghinis on the back. And good for him. People that work hard, man, I, I admire that. And here's just some nice cars. Here's my manager, Michael. Uh, he's managed almost all my nightclubs. Uh, best guy in the world. He brought his motorcycle down. And he and Tisa have been great friends forever. Um, she's married now to a really cool guy and her and Michael grew up, uh, just literally uh, forever. And so do, I guess all three of us, we almost look like brothers, Michael and I, but yeah, this is a great picture. I'm so glad all three of us are together and, uh, just a bunch more cars from Cudas to Coupes to T, what are they? Model T's, Nova's, uh, you can just see all the little, I mean, I've got hundreds of pictures. Here's the people that all won awards. At the end, we have clubs. We have under 25 years old. We have who has the most ratty, rusted original car. And um, and there's some winners here. And there's just a really cool motorcycle. He was in uh, having drinks and stuff and had cheeseburgers. And, and there's my buddy, man. I just love her to death. I get to see her once or twice a week. And her smile and face is perfect. And she's the coolest. But anyway, it was a big step for me today. Uh, I didn't do a lot of live good promoting. I made a couple videos and man, I just, God, I was hitting rock bottom, getting nervous. My chest hurt. I was just going, God, I've got to get over this. Is it anxiety? You know what you mean? You, God, you just, you breathe and you're like, God dang it. I've got to get, I got to move on. I've got to, I've just got to move on. I know deep down my son, he would pour water on my head and he'd go, come on, dude, get your shit together. At least have some fun. If there's the afterlife, I'll see you when you're 85, maybe, and out of here. Uh, or maybe there's not. I'm I'm cool both ways. I I am a hundred percent comfy. I've had a really good life, a roller coaster life, and boy, if I I have no regrets. All right, I I'm a humble person. Uh, I just want to do good. I want to live good. I want you guys to live good and feel good, and then feel great. I want you guys to have success and feel good by getting pre-enrolls. I want you to get people to sign up. I want you to experience that one or two first signups to get one and then to get the other and go to bronze. And then from there, let's find two more people to join underneath you and so on and so on. Because we need to get a lot of people in our downlines. Okay. Because some people are going to quit. Some are going to join the, you always want to recruit and try to get fresh people. That's for sure. But I want to simplify live good even more. And it's already, it's ingenious. It's as simple as it can get. You just basically ask people to please watch a video. And if they do, they pretty much make up their mind from there. And then after they join, then you go ahead and email them and say, this is awesome. Thanks. You made my day. I, I'm not really good at this yet. I'm new to online marketing, but 
awesome. And you just want to, God, you get up and you walk around and you get your first, second person to sign up. And man, it makes you feel good. And I want you guys to feel that. And I want to try like crazy over the next month or two to just come up with a system. And I've thought so much about what I want to do. And then I want to go ahead and just email Nodder and our CEO uh, just to make sure all my thoughts and ideas of recruiting and all that are, are just up and up. And uh, But basically, all you're doing is just spreading information about the opportunity and just let people make up their mind if they want to be an affiliate or just buy the products or if it's not for them. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good day and thank you for your time. That's just, you know, I wish I could. I like to recruit in person where I can just thank them. Hey, sorry to bug you, man. Thank you. I want everyone to realize I appreciate their time because time, wow, is it more important to me right now than money at this stage of my life. I'm running out of time. I don't have time to reinvent myself with Live Good. I don't have time to learn and take courses and go to college. And uh, I want to get down to brass tacks. What can we do to make Live Good rock and roll in my group? Because the company's kicking ass. Nine million bucks a month in products has nothing to do with the affiliate. We got 400,000 people, about 2,500 people a day joining worldwide. Exciting. Awesome. So the company's good. I want to better myself. I want to make things a little more uh, streamlined. I want to trim a little bit of the fat. You know what I mean? You're like, okay, that steak looks good. Got a lot of fat surrounding it to make it nice and juicy. Let's cut off the fat and get right down into the good parts. And that's what I want to do. And it, it might take me a while, but that I just want to tell you that's my goals. Because if I can simplify things and it works, then good. I'm one day closer to my personal goal is to have you guys go through the thrill of getting your first, second, fifth, 20th, or 50th person signed up underneath you. And if there's a way that you can even make 500 to 1,000 bucks a month, wow. That could half a house payment, maybe a, a an apartment payment. That's a lot of gasoline and a car payment and insurance. Most people with $1,000 can go finance a car and afford gas all month and pay full coverage insurance. That is freaking awesome. And if you can make more than that and actually make a living off live good, holy cow, that is like, that's the Super Bowl win for me. So I just, I wanted to make a video. I normally don't take 37 to 40 minutes, although I can talk for hours having a radio background. But today I just, it, it's one of my better days um, where I'm, I, I feel peace. I feel good about the situation between me and my son. And I think that each year will get better. And as long as I better myself, keep a positive attitude, and as long as I can make a difference and live good, wow, I don't even need pay. I would do this for free at this point. Just meeting everybody around the world, and then they have nice things to say, maybe on a message, Facebook, or on a YouTube comment. Man, I'm done. I'm like, when I get paid every Thursday, I, I almost crap my pants. Going, I should pay live good. I should pay you guys. You guys are my therapist. I've said this 500 videos, and I mean it. After I talk like this, I turn the camera off, and I always kind of go like this. I'll have my arms up, and while it's just processing for a minute, I'm like, did I just make a horse's ass out of myself? Did I repeat myself too much? Did I have any training, or am I just kind of talking to people, like hang in there? Because I like to do buddy videos. I like to do hang in there videos. I like to do education, maybe a little training, maybe a little gossip, maybe a little humor. I want to be well-rounded. Well I want 17 different angles, not just one. I'm not going to talk all the time about do this and duplicate that and get out and have a positive attitude and, and uh, rank up to bank up. I mean, there's a lot of great phrases out there, not to take away from anyone that has key phrases, because I always go, hey... Let's live good and feel great. I have my little phrases that make me feel really, really good about live good. And you guys will too, okay? So, but anyway, I I just, I had a whole game plan uh, before the car show and after the car show. Uh, I spent some time with my son. I drove around for about an hour listening to music. I went through, um, no, I'll choke up here. I just went through some of my neighborhoods uh, with me and my son where we lived and, um, but, it, but it, it was good. Like I said, I feel really good right now. And I'm not bullshitting you. I still feel choked up. It's hard to breathe. And I'm glad. I don't want to lose that. If I lose that, I will freak out. 
I don't want to get over that. I want to feel it because um, I'm scared to death that I'm going to forget about my son. The good thing about being in uh, radio and uh, nightclubs and entertainment biz for a long time is I've got a, an insane amount of audio, video, and pictures of my son. And I, I kept his puka shells, his glasses. I've got his shirts with cologne that I've sealed so they still smell just like he wore it five years ago. And I've got pictures around my studio. And I'm into cremation. I didn't want to bury him. I, I just I couldn't do it. And I know some people think cremation is wrong. I like it. I haven't had the guts to put him down at the cemetery. And it's an awesome cemetery. All my friends and family are there. And me and my son will be there one day. But I just like having him with me. He's right in the other room. And like I said, I'll, I'll do a video. I'd love to show what my son is doing now and what he did over the years from birth right up to being a pain in the butt teenager to uh, him uh, living right up to 33. And uh, that'll be nice. It, it's just, I, I just, I, I feel a lot better doing this. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's wrong, but I, I don't know. I just do what makes sense to me every 24 hours right now. So like I said, man, I live, I live so humble now for me to get up and, and, and live another 24. Holy mackerel. Thank you. And I'm in America, in Utah, with massive mountains and nice people. This, this state is too good to be true. It's like, I'm like, I've already won, folks. For me to get paid with live good is just mind blowing. Um, uh, I'll probably feel guilty about that. And now I'm, every, all the money I get, I'm probably going to start giving it out to people. I'll probably like sign up. I'll, oh God, I just, <laughs> that's probably, I probably can't do that. I don't, um, yeah, CEO Ben and Otter, with all the money that I make, is there any way I can just like put it up and whoever wants to join, just pay for their one year. It's about a hundred. So all the $149 bills I get, I just, <laughs> I feel guilty even making money off my downline at this point. Um, cause everybody's hustling. They're working hard. They, they want to make money. They want to feel good. They just want to get some signups and get some traction. Just get out of the gate. You know, the horses, when the chute opens up, they're running. When a car burns out and gets the tires hot and it starts, it's awesome. When you're skiing, you just get down the, you know, you just need some traction. You just need some help. I ain't going anywhere. There's no way in hell I can stop live good at this point in my life. And uh, I know for a fact you guys will get there. If you're watching my video, I know you can get your first couple signups. Then take a month or two and you're just going to get this flow. You're going to be mysterious. You're going to be compelling, interesting, maybe shocking, humorous. But you'll come up with a system that gets people going, I've got to click this. What the hell is that rascal up to? I'm going to click it. Okay, I get it. And if they don't want to do it, that's cool, man. And if they want some products or do some affiliate badassness like we're going to do, let's do it, man. All right. I hope they feel good like I do. And I hope you guys will feel good. And if you're frustrated, don't worry about it. Everybody has. If you don't feel frustrated, you're one in a billion. If you're new to this business, you're going to be pissed off the next couple months. Don't worry about it. It's $9.95. You ain't going anywhere. You're locked in the matrix, the downline. I'm busting massive ass. My upline is really busting massive ass. If I just count the two people that are in my group, they've got 20, 20, I'd think 29,000 people in their downline. That's just one level and two levels up. That's how many. That's freaking crazy. My one guy's only been in one more month than me. He's got 9,000 people already. I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, if you sign up underneath me, I don't go anywhere. I've got spillover happening in all of my downline already on this account. And I'm like, I'm so happy because they get a hold of me and go, I've got this guy signed up underneath me. What is that? I go, I don't know. What is it? Oh, it's spillover. Yeah, that's exciting. That's awesome. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm being productive, man. So, okay. Thanks guys. If you did watch all 45 minutes of this, um, I know this wasn't really a live good training video or maybe pep talk. I don't know what my goal was. I just wanted to have the balls to talk about my son again. This is my second video about him. I did it this morning. And I almost chickened out. And when I got back after the car show, I go, God, I just want to talk about my son and just say, man, I left the house. I went out. I socialized. I had some real nice people with me. And it's all it's all good. You know, because this has been one of my hardest days. Christmas is a bitch. My son died on Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. Not like 
non-religious or whatever. I have a Christmas tree and all that, but on Christmas tree, uh, Christmas time, I really don't celebrate. I don't get by the, the, the massive family that I have. I just like to be by myself with my son. And then, uh, and it's good. It makes me feel comfortable. That's my happy place. I do that a hundred percent by choice. But, um, today is my second, I guess, worst one to compete with that wall that I hit. <laughs> so anyway, okay, man. Thanks for watching, you guys. Even if one person watches, and uh, that's good. Thank you. Um, it's worth every minute. Um, and hopefully uh, the 45 minutes that you watched. I always feel bad if someone watches my video and then goes, boy, that was a waste of time. So, all right, guys. If you're not in Live Good, there's always a link below that says Join Corey. Watch the video. Get to know Ben and Nodder and some of our great peeps. And products are fun and great. And if you want to come aboard... I'll do everything I can to answer questions, to give you lead advice. Everything that I recommend is pretty much free, except AI technology. That's about 19 bucks for 30 days. Other than that, that's it. I don't want any more. I want, if you have extra money, I want you to buy some products and use them. And then you'll really feel good about Live Good. I do not want you to bullshit and say, what a great company, when you just read about it. Or if you heard me say it. Um, I've bought most of the products. There's a couple I haven't. I don't have the the screen up, but um, most of the products I've I've sampled, and some it's an okay effect, and some really make a difference. Super reds and super greens, uh, those are my favorite. And and if you can afford eighteen twenty bucks, uh, buy the product. Okay. So, all right, that's a whole other video. Thanks, you guys. Okay, you guys uh, be good. Let's all live good. All right, deal. Okay. Thanks and happy uh, Father's Day to everybody that might even see this 10 years in the down the road. But right now we got plenty of time still before midnight. It's still uh, Father's Day. And you guys just do your best. Being a father and a mother, man, what a mofo, huh? There's no owner's manual. You just do the best you can and wing it. And then you kind of figure it out. So, okay, take care. And thanks, you guys. It, it was a lot of fun for me. It really was. All right, see you next video.